Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria's Miscellany, where in this video I'm sharing um, another little idea, um, DIY Rick Rack, okay? I actually have to thank Maddie from Spectrum Art for um, pointing out that I had had this idea because in, um, I believe it was the last video I uploaded where I shared some things, she pointed out, and I think this is what you're we talking about, Maddie, if you're watching, how she liked that I used pinking shears to make this little ribbon out of, um, you know, just fabric. And I believe this is what she was talking about. So I went back and I looked at it and then I thought, shoot, that almost looks like Rick Rack. And so I went back and I tried to, you know, make some more. And, you know, this I honestly did a while back just kind of uh, because it was the edge. It was just a little edge of a piece of fabric. But... Um, I ended up using it in this little clip and um, so uh, I decided to try it out now I do have so let me show you this is what I've done now these are this is made out of paper but you know how we use paper in our embellishments and stuff too now granted it's not perfect you know like Rick Rack let me show you this is a actual Rick Rack this is what Rick Rack looks like and you get you know a more defined zigzag especially when it's bigger like this but um since that was made with pinking shears it's smaller and what i wanted to show you was um i have a pair of pinking shears that are i use oh excuse me that i use for paper because i picked them up at the um goodwill a while back so um i wanted to try it out on paper because well, first of all, it's just another way to use paper. And second of all, um, I, and, and a couple of videos ago, I had shared how I was uh, recycling um, this. I'm sorry. It's the first thing in the morning. I've only had one cup of coffee. <laughs> okay. Um, the little foil inserts from the coffee cans. And I mentioned that. Um, some of them you can't use your punches on and I verified that see I tried to use my butterfly punch on this foil and it didn't work it just it's kind of plasticky right um, so of course the husband had to buy a new thing of coffee and he bought this one and usually it's a Ford Folgers one that doesn't um, punch well but I thought I wonder how well it will cut so I started cutting around it with these um, shears and look at that it's doing really well so I just cut out a really thin strip so now I'm having I'm, I'm having some metallic rickrack isn't that cool now you kind of have to be careful to line it up but you know and it's not gonna be perfect like uh, right now I'm kind of rushing through it uh, for the video but if you line it up right some parts of it <laughs> And I, I, I'm not the best fussy cutter around, but I'm thinking for anyone who likes to fussy cut and stuff, this will probably be a breeze, you know? So all I'm doing is I'm just cutting, trying to stay, you know, in an even line around and making a little strip out of this. And I'm not going to do the whole thing. You get the idea check it out you get this lovely strip that looks kind of like rickrack now granted this because it's going in a circle it's gonna have like a little you know um, curve to it but I mean that's okay you can you know use it in a curved project or <laughs> or just use little pieces of it you know in your project and check it out so now you can have like a little silvery rickrack that you can make if you have pinking shears and I think cutting into this now don't quote me and don't I mean use at your own risk you know even I was gonna say you could probably use your fabric scissors on this because it's foil and I've had people say that um, you know foil actually sharpens your scissors uh, but again at your own risk I wouldn't do that um, I'm using these because these are my paper pinking shears like I said that I picked up thrifting so that's basically the idea now this is on foil and this is on paper but um, I also tried it on a piece of ribbon and let's see how far I got check it out this is how how it turned out 
Doesn't that look a lot like a very thin rickrack? And again, you know, you have to line it up right or it starts just looking like these little squares. But look, this little part came out pretty good. Okay, so let me take another piece of fabric um, that I have handy. Do I have a piece of fabric handy? <laughs> Maybe not. I should have prepared better. Ah, one second. Let me see if I can find something. Ah, where's my bag? Where's my bag? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I can't find any. Let's, let me use this. All right, eh, that's probably not a good thing. I'm, let me use another ribbon. I'm sorry. No. Come on, fabric. Where do I put it? Where did I put you? All right. Here it is. It was right next to me. <laughs> That's why I couldn't find it. All right. So I think to show you, it's better on a piece of fabric that is solid color. Do I have any solid color? Of course I don't. Okay. Well, let's try it on this piece. Now, this is a piece of fabric. So let me pull out my... Um, fabric pinking shears nope that's not it that's my regular scissors okay i apologize you know i always think i planned these out really well and then i <laughs> didn't okay so let's try it on this piece now this is a colorful one but that's all right and it's kind of a thin piece so we'll see how it goes i'm doing this uh, with you here okay so i'm just gonna cut And this is a fraying fabric, which may not be the best, but all right. So I'm just doing a little piece to show you. Let's see. I'm trying this out with you here. Okay. Now, again, the trick is in lining up your uh, cutting so that you're like a little bit down from your original cut, right? So here we go. Uh, there we go. And, of course, the closer you get it, I might have to sharpen these shoes. No, they're good. There you go. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hold on. I'm not lining this up right. There's your little tiny rake rack. All right. Yeah. So then you just keep cutting, you know, and it looks like, you know, any fabric or even any paper. Here's the paper. This I took out of a gift bag that I'm cutting up. And it's pretty, pretty gift bag. So I'm cutting up this gift bag. And this is the edge of it. And there's that pink and purple. And even the foil. So for those of you, my friends, who said that your husband only gets the Folgers, um, if you have pinking shears, you could make some little circular rickrack. Or even regular uh, scissors, you can make strips, you know. If you don't have pinking shears, you can... Um, at least use this by cutting shapes out of it, you know, just regular scissors. And this one I'm kind of just, you can just make yourself some ribbon out of it by just cutting thin strips with regular scissors. So you'll have a little, you know, thin metallic ribbon there. All right, <clears throat> um, I guess that's it uh, of what I wanted to share with you for this morning. Um, I just had to stop and make this video, even though, you know, I need to get ready for work, but I really like how that one turned out. And let me see, where's the other one? I think this one looks really good too. All right. Okay. I hope that was a cool tip. I hope that you get, uh, you know, some use out of it, but most of all, I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.